What are things made of? What is this table made of? Everything, including this table, is made of matter. What is matter? Matter is anything which has mass and takes up space. In other words, has volume. So matter is stuff. Anything, any stuff. What kind of matter is the table made of? The legs of the table are made of steel and the top of the table is made of wood. But what is steel and what is wood made of? Steel is made mainly of iron and wood contains a lot of carbon. Here's some steel and here's some carbon. There are many other kinds of matter. Here's some copper, some sulfur and some water. These are examples of matter. Iron, copper, carbon and sulfur are examples of elements which is a kind of matter, and water is an example of a compound, which is another kind of matter. But they are all matter. But we still haven't really answered our question. What is the table made of? Yes, it's made of iron and it's made of carbon and other things. But what are they made of? If we could zoom into some iron with a very, very, very strong microscope, what would we see the iron is made of? If we could use that very strong microscope on some carbon, what are the smallest bits of carbon that that carbon is made of? Scientists have asked this kind of question for many years and their answer is that all of matter is made of small little particles called atoms. Now an atom is so, so tiny not even the most powerful microscope in the world can show you what an atom looks like. Nobody has ever seen an atom. But scientists have done experiments which give them an idea of what an atom maybe looks like. And this is a very simple drawing showing a little bit of what the scientists think an atom looks like. So everything in the whole world consists of little particles like this. Billions and billions and billions of tiny little particles like this. Tiny little atoms. Now what does an atom consist of? In the middle it has a nucleus. The word nucleus means center. The nucleus is at the center of the atom. The nucleus consists of a number of particles. We call all the kinds of particles in the nucleus nucleons. Particles in the nucleus. There are two kinds of nucleons. Positively charged protons and neutral or uncharged neutrons. And then around the nucleus we have negatively charged electrons. This picture, as I've said, is only what we call a model, a simplified idea of what an atom actually looks like. An atom is actually not exactly like this, of course. It's very, very difficult to draw an atom. And one of the things that is wrong about this picture is that the nucleus looks much closer to the electrons than they should really be. And the electrons are much too big in comparison to the protons and neutrons. Let's imagine that we took a real nucleus and we made it big, 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 big until it was as big as a pea. Now, of course, a pea is not very big, but compared to an atom, it's huge. So we magnify, we make bigger the whole atom until the nucleus is the size of a pea. Guess how far away the electrons would be from that P. If we would put that P in the middle of a soccer stadium, the electrons would be going around the edge and the electrons would be smaller than a dust particle. That's because most of the atom is actually empty space. Most of the volume of the atom comes from the space in between the nucleus and where the electrons are. But I can't show that on the picture because then I'd need a soccer stadium sized piece of paper, which is impossible, of course. So that's why we draw it a little bit wrong. But at least it gives us a bit of an idea of what an atom is like.